Hey there lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing back to back to videos and this is going to be a list. Uh, this is going to be a list inspired by nature. Okay, some fragrances that uh, remind me of nature. And what do I mean by nature? Some elements of nature, not necessarily the same thing. Uh, nature is built of so many things like water is the most part of the world and also the earth like the soil or minerals, okay, or the greenery tree or something like breeze, okay, maybe sometimes the tea you know tea leaves oranges citrus a lot of elements are there and also i would say by the beach okay or like let's say something like a pond so you'll see uh, i have about 12 fragrances this is actually very interesting for me also like i thought of this like uh, last night you know i thought like let's do this and maybe people will find interesting hopefully you're doing good and you're in good health that's the most important thing it's weekend in bangladesh and time is around 2 a.m so uh, let me show you one by one i have reviewed all of them please check them out i put them according to my liking and preference and i'll tell you one thing like these fragrances are like you don't you're not necessarily you're gonna get the same thing like i did or the same sentiments is just my nose because these fragrances are actually not let's say if it's an aquatic they did not bring salt water okay or sea water per se okay so they made uh, like they use some compounds to make these fragrances in certain way that it evokes the feel okay so this is how you have to imagine so everything is imagination so first fragrance i'm going to show you it's an odd one yop splash okay or jupe splash people call it yop jupe in different countries and this is a smaller bottle that i have i think 75 mil also came in 125 these are now discontinued and very very expensive okay i think i've seen about two three hundred dollars for people asking for these bottles and i also have uh, yop splash summer ticket which is also nice little uh, summery vibe but this is also summer you know like this is really summer in a bottle so what this fragrance evokes the feel for me is uh, i think there's a note called cassowary fruit coriander seawater cardamom cedar labdanum and San Lu, these are the notes, but that cassowary fruit, I saw Max Forty describing that, and he said it does evoke the feel of kind of like a, uh, you know, like in the middle of the forest, like a stream or like a, I don't know what you call those things, you know, um, uh, like stream coming down from the uh, mountains or something. Okay, so uh, like a fall, like if you've been to Niagara Falls, you know, the water falls like that. So it's kind of like a stream, nice little stream in the middle of the jungle and there's a pond in front. So it evokes the feel of that, right? So if you like that sort of thing, it's a very unique smelling fragrance as well. Yup, Splash, okay? This is the first one. A longevity is okay, but this bottle actually evokes the feel of like a bottle as well, like a plastic bottle, which you like grab and then, you know, make it, you know, like this shape, but it's actually glass. Very nice fragrance. Yup, Splash, okay? That's the number 12. Trying to put as far as possible number two or number 11 rather sorry is this fragrance this is called david of cool water a classic a fragrance i relate to weekends which is tomorrow and i also because i'm the 80s baby i watched films like in weekends like we used to watch films like jaws or something like you know like those uh psycho you know those films back in the days uh bird i don't know what it's called that there's a movie called the birds i think anyway so I do not know why I think of Jaws, that movie of the big shark. And I think this fragrance also has a feeling of blue and green. This one has lavender. You guys know this is kind of like inspired by cool water, sorry, green Irish tweed. And there are many other fragrances that gives that feel. But I saw Mark reviewing this, like Rob Soit, and he did say, when you walk, take a walk in springtime or fall, and you're walking in the park side, you see this nice little lake in the middle of like a park or the surrounded by green grass this is what that evo evokes the feel so for me cool water is that sort of a watery aquatic also a little bit of a green fougere fragrance and a little bit of a, i think uh, i don't know what there was a spice in there which it gives that little bit of kick so cool water for me evokes the feel of uh, like a lake in the middle of um, park so next are uh, 10 fragrances let's go one by one let's show you this one big cylindrical blue bottle okay this is the new version of 212 men back in the days by Karina Herrera the, back in the days this fragrance people know as 212 men NYC and that bottle used to be like all the same this color here and these come with this very strong magnetic cap man uh, I'm struggling to take it off wait hear this hear the sound right so it's very strong so this is an iconic fragrance many people used it back in the days it's a very spicy grassy green fragrance okay and i don't have that many green fragrances to start with like mark talked about 
gap grass i tried to look for it I tried looking for it i couldn't find it i do have gilan's vetiver and ishan and sultana vetiver but this one reminds me of my school days or you know when we used to be young you know like maybe we're reaching teenage age teenagers like teenager age <laughs> no we're reaching uh, teenage like a uh, stage right so that time we used to be very sport we used to play football cricket badminton would we'll be very much full of life and we always go near the playground I imagine like playing football in the rainy season you can smell like when it rains the grass the mud and the water you know so basically it reminds me of my those days you know like near the grass or a field this is very sporty also reminds me a little bit of a tennis court sometimes which is like let's say something like Wim wimbledon right uh, so it's like a grassy green court grass okay so very grassy smelling fragrance for me very masculine very long lasting this is Kevin Herrera 212 men or men nyc number nine is another blue uh, bottle i really like this this is a very ozonic fragrance very light longevity is two to three hours but such a beautiful fragrance this is called hugo boss bottle tonic take a look at the juice color this looks like the sky blue skies and i wear a lot of it when i spray i spray liberally i go like at least 10 15 sprays because this one i want to make it last for a while so this one it's kind of like those blue freshes but this one has a special property out of all the fragrances i have versace uh, purom i have polo blue i have chrome i have nautica's voyage but this fragrance for some reason reminds me of the uh, beach okay sitting by the beach looking at the ocean and also those waves you know like hitting the beach like you just have this perfect uh, like you know view and you're just relaxing and there's just nobody disturbing you you by yourself okay and i think uh, this fragrance evokes that feel it's not to say it smells like the ocean or anything like it but the breeze it just reminds me of the breeze elements of nature very very beautiful fragrance it's just uh, very simple it's a uh, apples okay a little bit of uh, ozonic notes and aquatic okay hugo boss bottle tonic just give it a try okay. you'll see it's a fresh summer fragrance for every everybody okay so number seven this one reminds me of being near oranges okay i have been through uh, some orange based perfumes like ultrazes but that one is a candied orange but this one clinics happy for men is a one fragrance it reminds me constantly of oranges like fresh citrusy oranges maybe neroli or something like this i smelled this long time back in my university days one of my younger brothers brought this from bangladesh when i was studying in malaysia and i saw this on his table it looked very interesting like these are sold for a very expensive price in malaysia uh, i think it was at least 300 to 400 dollars like ringgit sorry so that translated to something like 70 to 80 dollars uh, but i was not going to pay that money back in you know my university days so whenever i used to go to his room i would spray and this would be disappearing very quickly it's very fleeting kind of fragrance unless you have an older batch older batches last decent time but it's just like if you go near mandarin tree orange tree or those one of those orangey fruits this is very like it's candied but it also smells like natural oranges if you go to carrefour or somewhere you know shopping mall where they have fresh fruits just smell the peel of the orange you'll get the vibe clinics happy for men so next i think number seven is this one this is called low power kenzo i just love blue and freshies this is my favorite genre and i actually had it i sold it back in the days look at that bottle it has a wavy watery pattern it, if you keep it like this it looks like water moving in there okay and it looks like waves so this reminds me of i think um, i'll tell you i don't know how to describe this i used to wear this when it rained okay some people would say why did you bring out narciso rodriguez for him that has that wet pavement or cement scent yeah that one does but cement sort of like wet pavement is kind of like a city it's not really natural it's man-made the concrete and all this one i used to sit on rooftop when it rained and i used to watch the water piling and it would become kind of like flooded on our rooftop and until you drain all the you know the drains but when it rains this is the perfect rainy day scent for me it has citrus it has very nice citrus it's also uh kind of like boss bottle tonic it it doesn't last that much but that feel man the nature elements of nature rain and also the puddle of not mud it's like puddle of water or something it's like small small ponds you know created by the rain i have another fragrance that smells like the rain but this one rainy day citrus and like you know you can say 
uh, water everywhere, okay? So that's the fragrance, Kenzo, low power Kenzo. Number six, a Bulgari perfume, okay? This one takes me to, um, you can say tea gardens, okay? This is called Bulgari Purum Soar. There are three in the line, Bulgari Purum, Bulgari Purum Soar, and Extrem. And I do have another fragrance which smells fantastic, but you can't find it anywhere. That one also gives that feel of nutmegs, tea. I have a little bit of juice left, which is called Gucci Purum Da or two. But that's very rare to find, super expensive. This one is discontinued, but still can be had for under $65 to $70. Still very affordable. This is a good tea based perfume, really smoky, kind of like a rubbery. And if you, let's say, sit in the tea garden, I used to go to Cameron Highlands in Malaysia, and they used to have, like, you know, like those tea brands where they make it fresh and then do export and stuff. So this is that feel. I get that feel from this perfume. Okay. So if you like the nature, like the tea garden, give it a try. Bulgari Purum Soar. You can also try the extreme, which lasts longer, but I like this one more for scent profile. So top five, let me show you two fragrances at the same time from same house, okay? And I used to have these fragrances like for a very long time. Okay, how do, which is the right side? Yeah, this is the right side. So this is called D Square He Wood and this is called D Square Rocky Mountain Wood. This is the one that came out first. There are at least five to six versions of it or flankers. I do have one more somewhere. Uh, it's collecting dust, but these two are the best from the line. Rocky Mountain Wood, it's better. This is a bit smoky. Oh man, this is a perfect. Look at the bottle. This reminds me of big old trees. You know, this is perfect. People say similar to Canadian mountain wood, like mountains and stuff. I also think of not just mountains or big, big trees. Woody, uh, green, natural, fresh, long lasting perfume. This one has violet leaves. This one has incense or something smoky. Both are amazing. These are now hard to find, but if you get them, try them. Uh, D squared he wood and D squared Rocky Mountain wood. I put both because I love them both. Number four is the one I was talking about, Rain. Of course, it's kind of obvious. It's Bulgari Man Renaissance. So um, it's not really uh, smelling like rain. Rain doesn't really have a smell. But when the rain hits the nature or the uh, like soil, uh, you know, imagine like a hot day. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time, but I'd like to describe. Imagine like whole day was very hot humid and you're sweating you're just wishing for some you know like uh, rain and finally the rain came after many days of drought and something like i don't know is the world called drought or drought or i don't know when imagine like the, the whole uh, surface is all hot and everywhere is like dry the the soil is cracking finally the rain comes down and imagine before the rain comes down the sky gets really really dark and the breeze the cool breeze starts you know and i just absolutely love it since childhood i just love like storm you know many people may say storm is a natural disaster why you like it i don't know i just love watching storm that the trees go crazy you go later after the storm you just collect uh, like fruits that fell from the tree so once the rain hits the soil you get the special smell okay that is that natural earthy smell which i really like and this one somehow the tea and citruses evokes that like a light what record which i like i also think ck2 would be a good fragrance but this one is more prominent renaissance definitely give it a try interesting fragrance number three cartier declaration dun soir okay this perfume is rose heaven i must talk about rose because rose is something big part of my uh, journey and childhood i used to uh, live in a like a campus where they used to have rose gardens and we used to have this special rose called bombay uh, or bombay rose okay they used to be really big like this big okay and it would not like look like uh, red rose it would be like bit yellow bit pink bit red and the smell got this peppery kick one of the best we call this bombay uh, gulab okay and that gulab or gulab i don't see it anymore man i miss that during february it's beautiful smell if you ever love rose so much, this is the best rose, best fragrance out there. Okay, Cartier Declaration Don't Soar, I think it's discontinued. Check it out. Amazing. Other ones, very good, but this is my favorite. Number two and number one. Number two is this one, Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. Uh, this is not everybody's cup of tea. I'll just warn you. It's a fair warning. This fragrance is not for everybody. This is also discontinued. Did not sell well. I'll not lie to you. This was not a big hit from Tom Ford. They call it off. Maybe the, later they'll release it as uh, perhaps a private blend or more expensive this used to be like 150 160 dollars i remember now price have gone 200 dollars plus it's very hard to find this is one of the best creation of tom ford okay 
there's nothing that smells like this from their house they are wood minerals some of the other ones tobacco wood they are different type of rain this reminds me of the minerals like imagine you near being near lava or uh, being near a charcoal uh, i don't know mine or something so you get that burnt spicy uh, that the nature think of fire this all these elements and a lot of spices this is the fragrance tom for no anthracite it's one of the most um, like mysterious fragrance in my collection definitely check it out it smells like nature but the minerals of it okay and that is been number one it's a simple fragrance from house of creed this is called original vetiver i do have some juice left decent amount of juice left from my older bottle uh, nowadays the these 120 ml bottles are gone only thing you get is 100 ml okay so back in the days used to be 75 ml 120 120 ml um, i used to have mugler cologne okay and people compared this with mugler cologne a lot but most of people would say this is a better fragrance okay but the price is just crazy like some people say uh, just to get a vibe of this Irish spring soap or just something natural smelling people shouldn't be spending like 450 or 500 bucks okay i understand but when i actually compare the scent profile with mugler cologne mugler cologne is so good okay there are many other fragrances that gives that vibe but original vetiver is the first thing you smell you let's say uh, you go out you know for jogging in the morning five o'clock six o'clock in the morning and you go to like let's say jog on the field and you see fresh dew on the grass um, i don't know why this fragrance brings back those memories from my childhood okay i used to love the mornings yeah i used to go jogging with my father and uh, later on we'll pick up some sort of like breakfast you know or some sweets or parathas and you know near our uh, where we used to live it's called buet so buet is like university where my dad taught before so there was this big ground okay near buet like inside the buet campus and morning time that grass they didn't cut the grass quite often they're like big big grass and when you walk your pants would get like a little bit moist with all the dew this is the dew in a bottle for me okay so original vetiver is that kind of fragrance it's a very inspirational there's watch out reviews of mark he explained so nicely how this fragrance came about so these are the fragrance i want to show you today hopefully you enjoy the video sorry about the long video but when i tell stories i get carried away have a nice day thanks for watching and do try this fragrance out and do let me know which ones are your favorite Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.